then uh, started leaking out some information regarding their schedule now that USC and UCLA are joining forces there in the Big Ten as Ohio State, Penn State, that rivalry game will not be played on a regular basis anymore. That was not protected by the Big Ten today, which means it will rotate from year to year. Now, games that were protected, Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Wisconsin, and Iowa. I believe 16 games were uh, projected. I'll give you some more. Uh, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, Iowa, Maryland, Rutgers. Oh, what a great one that is. <laughs> Indiana, Purdue, yep. Illinois, Purdue, Illinois, Northwestern, and USC, UCLA. So those of you that are big fans of heading to Columbus or Happy Valley to see Ohio State, Penn State on a yearly basis, well, that it will no longer be in effect. All right, let me let me reference this thing. Buckeyes have owned them. They've won 10 of 11. So yeah. is it a rivalry? So, well, yeah. They beat them 10 out of 11. I'm well aware of that. Okay. It, it, it's a right. legacy rivalry. Right? 23 and 14 ever. overall. But as Venus Gerolitis once said, I'm not going to let Jimmy Connors beat me 17 times in a row <laughs> after he had beaten them 16 so, times. There's in a hope row. for that. That was that, great. There's hope for it that. It was great. It was almost when, when uh, Ohio a State. A tennis analogy. Well, yeah. it's almost. Well, I figured it, you would recognize that. It went Ohio State. I, was, I may uh, have played the game, but I didn't follow the game. Oh, man. Okay, so let me go back to the, uh, to the Big Ten. Now that you have talked about the scheduling coming out, how much more do you think the wheels are going to turn in the Pac-12 for, say, Washington and Oregon now that they're seeing those matchups? And, whoa, man, we should be a part of that. We should have Ohio State. We should have Michigan coming here. I, I For some reason... I think the impact of that schedule coming out is going to make the the steam wheeler churn a lot more. Well, probably what's their appetite, I would think. I but, would, but you, you, these ads and these administrators, they know this is going to happen. They knew this was going to happen. I'm well aware same thing of that, with the but, SEC, you know, yeah, with Texas and Oklahoma. Same thing. They know it. But but now it's front and center. But, it's front. But now it's reality. Yes. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're getting theirs now. They're going to go get theirs while they're left back here. Wow. Going, you mean get theirs. There's not much left. They're going to go get no, that, And those teams are leaving to go get the bigger bag, get the bigger but he's money. Making a, he's making a point about Oregon and Washington. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they're sitting on the on the bench. Mm -hmm. And, are, you know, what, what can they do? They All they can do is try to do a good job of scheduling some non-conference games. Right? That's, I think that's what and, Jimmy's getting at, Rock. He's, you know, you got USC. They knew that. You see, I know that. They're moving on, so they're going, wow. But now it hits them right in the, the face. Reality I, is think it hit, I think it hit him in the face when this first came down. It did. It's but, such but, a big then, deal to use but, to, to see UCLA and USC leaving the Pac-12 right. after so many years. Yes, I think anybody that's in that position as an AD or an administrator, assistant AD, or whatever, they all knew this was coming. But Rock, seeing the luxury matchups that Jimmy's talking about, I was like, but wow. those matchups are the matchups we've seen forever in the Big okay. Ten. But what are we? But they're they're gonna gonna not but they're going to be not Big Ten, but now USC is going to have Michigan coming in and vice versa. All of a sudden, you got you Ohio State coming to LA, yep. and them going there, and then there's Oregon, and Washington. Going, oh my gosh, man! This we got to do something because we would love to have Michigan come into Washington maybe every two or three years, or we can go there. Or how about this this Ohio State team team coming up to? Oregon and playing at Corvallis, mm -hmm. uh, or not? Uh, Cor I mean, uh, Eugene. 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 I yeah. mean, all of a sudden, what I think what Jimmy's saying is. There it is, yeah, front, front and center. Yep. See what you're missing out on, yep. Oregon and Washington. Let's see right. what you can have. All right, but let's let's just be honest, okay? USC. Here's here's their here's their Big Ten schedule. At Illinois, ooh, big deal. That's not a big deal. Nope. Oh, at Indiana. Oh, all right, really? Okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, at Iowa, eh, whatever. We don't know what Iowa team we're going to get this year. For Iowa, for uh, home Bears. with Maryland. Okay, there's four games I don't need to be at. All right. Next one at Michigan. All right, give me one. Yeah, sure. that's so all one right. out of five. All right, okay. All right, next one at Michigan State. Eh, yeah, that's all right. Okay. That's uh, okay. I, I will give you two out of six. Okay. Uh, th we, that's it. But Rock, the the, the point Minnesota? is the point is is to have a Michigan. There's two or three State. actually matchups that make sense. Okay. Oh. USC Michigan, USC Ohio State. And one other one. Okay, you go Penn State in there. You, or, that's it. Or Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin eh, in there once. Okay. Penn State. I just I mean, said that. Said okay, that. so yeah. you got this. So I mean, even if they come in on a, on an every other year basis, 
that's like the only time you're going to be able to see that. And, and, and the USC has dominated the teams that you said. Let me just give you this. I know where you're going with this, but i got to get this out. 11-2 against Illinois. Okay. 4-0 against Indiana. 7-3 at uh, Iowa. They've never played Maryland. Who cares? Michigan they've beaten <laughs> 6 out of 10 times. They have a tie. They're tied with Michigan State. 6-4 and four over three Michigan minutes. 6-1-1 one one against Minnesota. 4-0-1 oh against Nebraska. 5-0 and oh against Nebraska. Three and one against USC. They've never played Rutgers. I mean, they six and one over Wisconsin. They've dominated okay. the Big Ten. They have it. absolutely dominated. But what I'm getting at is having that Ohio State coming once in a while, having that Michigan yeah. coming once in a while. They could easily the- have scheduled a non-conference SEC but, but, team, and it would have made a difference. But guys, those were you would only see that in a Rose Bowl. Now you might see it every other no, year. No, you're starting year. to see these. You see these early season May, excuse me, September games that they're playing non-conference Periodically games. Periodically, you might okay. see that. But those made those even more important. Okay, this could dilute it a little no, bit. No, 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 way, no dilution. No. no, man, that's awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I can't get too excited about USC Indiana, I USC know. Northwestern, I, I guess, USC I Purdue, that. USC uh, Rutgers, Wait till you USC Maryland, Wait. USC Illinois. I can, there's more games in there that I, I don't see that's, that's that big a deal. That's just the opening schedule. Watch how it plays out. I, I'm All I'm going to say is, all right, USC is on the road at Northwestern. you telling me that Chicago and that area is Huge. not going to be fired to up? Well, it doesn't matter what the score is. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, just it that USC is coming in. USC is going to Northwestern, man. They're going to pack the stadium yeah. there downtown Chicago. That's what he's getting at, man. This, that's like go must watch. If you're an alumnus for Northwestern Western. or a USC and you're living in Chicago, that game comes every other year, every two years. Man, that's that's huge for those people. So exactly. I think Oregon and Washington are out there going Damn, we could get some really good matchups. Mm-hmm. And I know what you're saying, Rock. Okay, Indiana and Northwestern and but well, hey, everybody has down teams. Yeah, everybody has their that their their uh, homecoming game teams you gotta play against. I mean that's part of the whole thing. But that just I mean they, they're gonna get more uh, versus there's, there's playing more, more, more games on their next couple years schedule that are not that big of deal. Okay, but there's three teams that really okay. move the needle. And that's Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State. Okay, Let's right. just be honest. And this Wisconsin, isn't a big 12. Be about that. Wisconsin. Uh, okay, maybe. A new head coach, I think they're, they're yeah, going to be better. Yeah. But SEC, yeah, there's probably 10 teams I like to well, see sure. them play in the SEC. Sure. I mean, even, even Big 12, I can make, you know, there's some better. Not too many, but I don't know. I just think it's the USC part of this. They've dominated those teams. So I understand Absolutely that. Absolutely dominated. But I mean, that's a st- it's got some cash. I am not going to, you know, it's not appointment television for me to watch USC Maryland or Indiana or Illinois. Even yes, but you're watching it is a stretch. But you'll watch USC Michigan. You'll of watch course, USC everybody State. will be the primetime game. Okay, but That's the one game that day that everybody's watching. But those those games but could you be, can see that now. But both those games could be uh, buying for the conference championship. Could it, it could mean something. When it comes to the Big Twelve, when it comes to the twelve playoff teams, on top of that, instead of playing USC's got to go play U of A or ASU, and you're going, oh, God, that's that's a Washington, right Washington State. I've got I've got Ohio State coming in, and I've got Michigan. It's going to be for the conference championship, or do I win that game to go to the big to go to the twelve team playoff? Rock's got that Debbie Downer attitude. On this, well, I'm already on saying that. No, I get what he's no saying. competition with a lot of those teams. I understand, and he read off. How USC has fared, but but those those three or four games trump all those other oh well yeah games that you've got coming into your or you're going back there. 